for me, when I'm playing against a team that's not communicating, I'm kind of pumped. I'm not going to lie. If yeah, I yeah. just see them kind of doing this on the return yeah. games, no high fives, no game planning, I'm like, all right, we're going, like, we're going to pick on someone. For and sure, I yeah. love to, like, pick up on <laughs> yeah. those little things. I'm serious. How are you? Long time no see. Yeah, too long. Good. Yeah, what's going on? How are we doing? Um, you just finished your practice, right. I yeah, see. Yeah, followed I, you on the court. I know. Uh, how was I looking? You were looking impressive, yeah. I was mixing it up. You were very, very <laughs> much so, yeah. Yeah. I kind of like that. The rhythm master. I kind of like mixing up every single shot that is yeah. possible on the court. Yeah, put it out there, yeah. Into my game, so. We're, we're here to express ourselves. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like I do a pretty good job expressing myself. Have I helped you express yourself more? I think you've helped me come out my shell a little bit. Have perhaps. I? No That'd be like no, the biggest no option, compliment. Though, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have. I made you do enough social media with me. That's true, yeah. I gave I've us a hashtag. I've definitely learned on that, that side of things, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, how, but how have you been feeling on the dubs court? It's been a minute since we played together in Australia, yeah. so, but how have you been feeling since then? I've been... Not that good. Really. <laughs> Results I haven't like, been I like like, like Australia actually. We yeah, are here to we, be uh, honest. Uh, Bruno was injured for a while, so was playing with different people for like three weeks, which was different for me because I actually never had hadn't had to do that for quite a few years. So I think that's actually a good place to start. What do you think is difficult, uh, or you can say on both ways? I'm playing with the same person week in and week out. What's the what's the pros? What's the cons? And then of mixing it up week in and week out. For me, I always want to be in a stable partnership because you know to have that continuity that direction you know i feel like the more you play with someone the easier it is to sort of build that that partnership rather than like week in week out finding someone different to play and kind yeah. of you know the success of the team will be how much can you come together and put your best game on the table working as a team yeah as like a effectively team. yeah for me when i'm playing against a team that's not communicating, I'm kind of pumped, I'm not gonna lie. If yeah, I just yeah. see them kind of doing this on the return yeah. games, no high fives, no game planning, I'm like, all right, we're going, like, we're gonna pick on someone because I know someone's getting pissed at yeah, someone. Yeah, for and sure, I yeah. love to like pick up on <laughs> yeah. those little things, I'm serious. And then I'll go middle a few times, see if I can get them a little bit more aggressive towards <laughs> each other. But I mean, maybe it's good in the end. I've mixed up a lot of different game styles with a lot of different partners. But for me, the biggest thing when I'm picking someone to play with is like how I vibe with them on an energy and communication yeah, level. I, I think, think that's, that's so no matter what then, when you are down and out, somebody's not playing good, I feel like you can always kind of give yourself a, a second chance at any point in a match if you're at least communicating. It's just, it's, easy, it's, it's easier to go through those moments with someone that you like when you're in the trenches. I feel like something you may as well stay together and try to sort of get through those difficult times. Yeah. Because at, at the end of the day, everyone just ends up playing with everyone anyway for yeah. a period of time. So aren't you better just sticking with that one partner and trying to True. Trying and, to, I, and I don't and think people together almost realize too that the goal at the beginning of the year is to make that year end final. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. come down to just your personal doubles ranking, yeah, which yeah. is what we all kind of look at, but it's your team standings. Yeah. Top eight players get to make that final eight that the, at the year end championships, both for men and women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a big deal. There's a lot of money on the line. Yeah. Um, there's a trophy on the line. So I feel like that's something that sort of it's interesting to follow who can stay together. And yeah. even those teams that are just out like nine. 10 towards the end of the year trying to get those points to, to compete as a team. That's the benchmark, isn't it, for all teams when they get together at the start of the year. is like the goal is to make the tour finals. And I feel like most teams that do kind of stick out for another year or whatever. And those that don't often tend to go and find, find someone else to play with. I'll be honest. I haven't really had to have a really hard breakup one-on-one -on -one, be like, listen, I don't think this is going the direction that either <laughs> of us want, but I do, like, I am friends with a lot of people and I want everyone to kind of win out of the situations. I want us to enjoy playing dubs. I yeah. want, and I feel like I've been pretty, pretty forward with that. And also the thing is in doubles, you know, you might be playing with me, but next week, and, and we're playing against, you know, two players, but next week you might be playing with that player as well. So. Yeah. You, you know, it's kind of it. important to maintain like some sort of relationship with yeah. with people because you always, you know, you can't be a doubles player without a partner, right? You yes. need, uh, 
You gotta have some, a couple people like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but it's, but it's true. I actually don't think a lot of fans almost realize that we also like even singles players like everybody we share the same locker rooms like we yeah. see we warm each other up and we yeah, can be yeah. playing each other the next day i mean for the most part it's tennis is an individual sport and even in doubles you have your individual doubles ranking but you still got to come together with with your partner and find the right find the right person. yeah 100 percent. hand signals or are you a talker do you prefer talking it out before you serve or return or do you like would you play a match just only on hand signals with your partner no i'm a i'm a talker like Aww. <laughs> to talk it out, yeah. You're a talker. Yeah. I know. You. I mean, with me, you are. We talk it out. But you, you're going for. No, I'll talk it. I yeah. prefer talking it out. Only yeah. I'll only use that a signal every once in a while. Maybe on returns, if yeah, there's yeah. like a second serve, and I maybe want to go or yeah, want same, you to yeah, go yeah, line, because that's the only kind of moment we don't get together yeah, yeah. and chat. Um, for the most part, even on let courts, I'm kind of I'm that person that will run back and like yeah, give yeah, a little yeah. like fist bump. All right, here's what we're doing, and then go back. Up. Reset. <laughs> Get the reset. reset. Yeah. So, but I feel like there's some teams that it's like purely, purely yeah. signals. If you want to call both serves, if you're the server and you want to call both serves, or if you just want to focus on that first serve and then if you miss and it's like, okay, now I deal with the second serve and then the partner gives a signal. I don't like that just because I feel like it takes too long and sort of mess with your rhythm and stuff. Sometimes you have to do it like if it's a net court and yeah. you, I don't think you're actually supposed to like run back in oh, between really? the first and the second serve. Oh man. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I feel like that's uh, all I do. Yeah, well, but if the umpires don't call it, then keep doing it, you know? Okay, all right. Uh, I feel like I sprint. I mean, yeah, my energy, I like sprint back there, like quick I talk, won't call, then sprint I back. I won't call you out on that. Okay, thanks. Uh, Appreciate it. But I think it just, if people are doing signals mess around, it just sometimes takes... Well, because that, that is, that's like a little detail. Like some, I've noticed some players, some partners of mine like to call first and second serve. Yeah. Some only call first and then you want to signal a second because they want to just focus. They yeah, don't want to yeah. even think about a second serve in their mind. Yeah. They're like, this is what I'm doing first serve. If I me miss, then we'll talk about it. Yeah. And then I remember playing with Bob Bryan who made no calls. He would, I would go back there and be like ace. And I'd be like, <laughs> I'll be at the net. That if was you the need call, me. though. He, he 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 did as he said he would. Yeah, this he is delivered. true. And yeah. most of the time he would hit an ace. So, but I was just like, I'll wing it too, wherever you want to go. <laughs> I'm ready at the net. You, so you prefer just calling the first serve? Yeah, like I mean, nowadays also everyone calls a second serve, whether they're telling you that straight up or they're doing a signal. Yeah. Because in a way, for a second serve, it's more important because you know if they serve a good first serve, a lot of times like the ball doesn't come back or it's maybe an easy volley to, to yep. put away. But second serves, like it's where for me, it's where the game's kind of won and lost a lot. Okay. Of them. A lot of so matches. if you're if you're going to give me advice, and I know you have, what are two things that you would always tell me to do when I'm playing doubles? Hit down the line and mix doubles. <laughs> Permanently telling you to do that. That's how and we that's win. Only, that's, 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 that's the only time thing. you've yeah. used my first name. Yeah. Beth, <laughs> go down the line. <laughs> yeah, totally. you. Down the line wins, I wins my, titles. I, listen, yeah. I, hear my, I hear my first name. I'm like, he's serious. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Go down yeah, the line. Okay, so go down the time. line. Yep. And do your thing at the net. Like, Okay, Where's but be close. But be close. You, I'm usually. You're usually telling when, me to close. When the I net return, more. it's like be be closer to the net. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes you start too far back. So if I return, and then and it goes low at their yeah, feet. Yeah, it's kind or of something. wasted because if they volley back, you're too far back to then like to get that middle yeah, volley yeah, basically or to put higher pressure. Or close to the net. Yeah. And now you got to tell me advice for me. Advice for you. I think. I've just noticed sometimes you get a little bummed on some of your mistakes. It's those moments where if I was playing against you, that's what yeah. I'm looking for. I'm looking for that moment you like know you should have made a volley and yeah. you just kind of go like this. Because, I mean, you know how it is. You Someone misses and they just turn around and you're like, damn, like he, he didn't, that didn't yeah, matter to him. Phase. He lost a yeah, deuce point yeah. and he <laughs> don't even care. He's coming at me the next point. So, and I find that that's more intimidating than, and like forget the actual mistake. So yeah. I would say that's what I would, I would tell you or anybody in doubles in general. Yeah, it's easy to get worked up about things and it's stressful playing doubles because the margins are so small, like first to four points every game, if you split sets, it's 10 point tie break and sometimes like it just doesn't go for you and you, you know, you can get on a bad run, you lose a few tie breaks in a week and you start to kind of doubt yourself or what you're doing and all that stuff. But you know, everyone's got their strengths and weaknesses. And by now, like, your weaknesses are always going to be your weaknesses and your strengths will be your strengths. But at the end of the day, it's your strengths that are going to 
win, win your matches, you. win yeah. your titles, prize money, all that stuff. So. Exactly. And in doubles, I think it's also zero hesitation. Mm. I think when you're just second guessing yeah, a strategy yeah. or like a go play or just something, I think that's the make or break in yeah. doubles. If you can get to a place where mentally you're not hesitating, I think you're ultimately you'll go to your strengths yeah. anyways. The game's too fast as well. Like if you, you, yeah, you're hesitating or you're not looking for the ball, you don't want to touch the ball or whatever. Like, yeah, it's on a one way. Give me the ball, coach. Yeah, Give me yeah the ball. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> be the ball. Be the <laughs> there we go. All right, I feel like this was a really good pe uh, pep session. I appreciate it, Jamie. I needed this too. Me too, big time. Beth was a pleasure. Always. Um, I'm gonna for watch your matches. Time, yeah. yeah, anytime. Let's talk. Let's talk over some pasta. Yeah. Good Drink luck some this red weekend. wine after after Rome. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah. The toughest job in the world, I can say for sure. But the best. One. But the best one. Yeah, the best job. The most enjoyable, and Except. you see the smile of your baby, and uh, you forget everything. Yeah.